um, I know we have like now. Um, you know, some of these cosplayers who, like me, dress up as one of their favorite characters and no one knows who you are, don't be discouraged. <laughs> you know, it happens, you know? Um, so yeah, just, you know, rare characters do happen, so. You know, don't You're right. walk up to someone and say, oh, you look fabulous. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> happen to people. People will walk up to you and be like, okay, I love your costume, but I don't know what series you're from. Don't be afraid to explain that to them. Or if okay. it's an original costume, you feel like, yeah, it's my own costume. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and sometimes, it's be, if that happens, it's because, um, if, if they don't recognize your costume, it's, it's because there's a certain part missing. And I, I've, I've had, an ex a, a year ago, I cosplay as Angela from Dragon Quest Eight, and no one recognized me because I didn't have the wig. But when I found a wig when I cosplay as him, people started recognizing me. And, and does, does, any, does, anyone, does, anyone, does anyone know who Dark from, from yeah. Dean Angel is? Yeah, yeah that's... Yeah, I, was, I was thinking of people not... I was, I was thinking people... Oh! Hey! Cover, and that is the guests, which are at this convention. Um, and actually, we're going to bring them up here and have them talk a little bit about how the guests are at the convention. <laughs> so we're going to turn this over to the experts on how to treat a guest at a convention, all right? They know far better than we do. Yes. Give him all your money. <laughs> Probably in large bills, large sums. Hi, you guys. Hi. Uh, my name is Vic. <laughs> my, <laughs> my name is Daryl Gilbo, and my first time here, so I'm thrilled. Hi, Vic and Daryl. Hello. <laughs> How's your panel been going so far? Good? Are you... Where's Tamaki? Yeah. Come here. I must hug all Tamaki cosplayers. Any more Tamakis out there? No? <laughs> you know what, this is really a neat idea because, I mean, I know I know he's done a handful of cons and I've done a very large handful of cons and uh, there are always things that you, that you wish the fans knew. Uh, and I think this is a great opportunity for us to share a little bit of that. And as much as you guys can share this with people this weekend, it'll make everyone's experience better. And the one thing, if you think about maybe the one thing that comes to your mind, one thing that comes to my mind is I want to tell you guys something from the bottom of my heart. I love the fans, but it's really difficult when a guest gets put into a position where a fan is pushy and like wants to talk. And, and there are other people there, you know what I mean? There are a lot of people around, and and you need to, we need to take turns. Um, I will spend all day talking to every person I can, and I know he will, and I know Travis does, and Laura does, but sometimes there are those moments when you're near somebody that you've been looking forward to talking to, and even though there are 20 people there all waiting, you tend to push your way through and try to get up you know, and, and, and monopolize their time. And it's really hard to spend any kind of real quality time talking with any one person when there are 50 other people standing there with papers waiting. So I would ask you guys to just do your best to spread courtesy and kindness to the other people that are here this weekend. Um, just as you would want somebody to be courteous toward you, um, try to extend that to the other people, and and I know you all are excited to meet Laura and Travis, and we're all we're all very excited to be here, and we're going to give you every ounce of our energy. I promise. They're going to drag us to the airport <laughs> on Monday morning because we will be exhausted. But we just want to make sure that that everyone gets a chance to interact as much as possible. Um, so be. Be aware of other people around you and sharing the time we have together. Okay? Uh, for me, there was something I learned, I think, at my first con. Because I haven't done too many. I'm just kind of new to the whole thing. But somebody said, be careful of, I think it's called globbing? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is it called? Globbing. Globbing? Globbing. Globbing. G-L-O-M-P. G-L-O-M-P. Globbing. Yeah, yeah, that. <laughs> 
Well, the funny thing is, you guys know there's another voice actor named Sh you, uh, Sean Schimmel. There's a guy, Sean Schimmel. Is he uh, he played Goku in Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, most, so, most prominently. So we were at a con together, and we had just left a voiceover panel, and all of a sudden this girl just like rushed him like a linebacker. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching, and just like, I mean, literally, <laughs> he hit the ground. <laughs> So I guess we. So, yeah, I mean that's horrible. And I was like, uh, <laughs> so I was like, oh, that's what that is. Well, don't do that. <laughs> or at least give fair warning. Yeah, fair warning. Like, I'm gonna rush you with my bag. Oh, please no. Or okay, I'm ready. <laughs> but he was really a tangled mess, and we had to get him up and everything. So. Let's see. What what else comes to mind? This is really. It kind of caught us caught us off guard um, when they said, hey, stick your noses into this panel and we didn't know we were doing this. stuff from the guest standpoint. And you know, as soon as this is over, I'm going to think of a whole bunch of things. But, um, let's see. Uh, oh, you know, for me as well, I, I'm like, uh, Vic, I love it when you guys come up, you know, if I'm walking around. You, I don't mind at all when you guys come up and say, oh, hey, hi, how are you, or I have a question. Because it gives us a, a chance to meet the people who love anime. Uh, and we would not be here, we would not be doing anime unless there was a group of people who loved anime. And so, because we're, you know, we're in a booth when we do our, our job. It's just me, and then I'm by myself in the little room, and there's a sound engineer, and there's a director. And then we do our job, and then it goes out into the world, and you don't know, you know, if anybody watches it, or if anybody, unless you come to these <laughs> conventions. You know, and you're the you're the guys and the ladies who support us, who support the anime, who support the whole subculture that surrounds it, and it's fun to meet you guys. 